In this video, I'll show you how to get and install mods in Minecraft Bedrock. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is launch Minecraft Bedrock and just go to the home screen just like so. And what you need to do is note down the current version you have of Minecraft Bedrock. In my case, it's 1.19.51. Now what you need to do is close out of Bedrock, so I'm going to close off of it just like so. And then the next thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. Uh, this can be any type of browser. I personally use Google Chrome and then come to a search engine. Now what we need to do is go to a Minecraft Bedrock mods website, or what we actually call mods in Minecraft Bedrock is behavior packs and add-ons basically just because they're add-ons to the game and they change the behavior. So anyways, once you're on a search engine, but anyways, go to a website. So the website I use is called MCPEDL just like so. So hit enter there. And as you can see, the website is literally mcpedl.com. Now, once you're on the website, you then need to go to the top navigation bar and go and tap on mods, just like so, and then go and tap on add-ons. As I previously said, mods are also known as add-ons. Now we can go and find um, an add-on or a mod we want to go and download. So if you come to the top, you can go and choose if you want the latest or the most popular ones. In this case, I'll just choose one from the latest. So go and find an add-on or a mod you like. So I'm gonna check out this ghost block add-on. So I'm gonna go and tap on it, just like so. And what's gonna happen is it'll be taken to the page and it's gonna describe everything you can go and do with it. Um, I'll come and sort of look at this later just so I can go and find out uh, how it's going to work. Scroll to the bottom and go and check the supported Minecraft versions and as you can see 1.19.5 is supported which means I should be able to go and install it. And also just go and note the installation as well. We need to go and enable these. I'm going to show you how to do this and so make sure you watch the full video. As you can see there are two downloads so with um, sort of Minecraft add-ons and mods you often need to download a resource pack and a behavior pack so let's get into this. So I'm going to tap here just like so um, and as you can see we're leaving MCP LDL. Now do sort of listen to this quite closely because there's a few sort of rules you should follow when using these download sites. Just be very aware there's going to be a lot of ads. As you can see, we've got all these start now ads and start downloads. These aren't the actual download for the um, for the mod or the RP. So what you need to do is on link for types, scroll down and go and tap on free access. Then you may go and get another pop-up here. So if you go and get a pop-up here, just close off of it and then go and tap on free access again or download. Uh, sometimes you get this like pop-up of um, articles and there's gonna be a cross, just close off of it and press on free access again and then you'll be taken to a media fire link. Then we can go and just press download and the download should begin as you can see. And now we need to go back to the original site. We'll close off these two because if we remember correctly, we then need to go and download the behavior pack as well. So go and tap on behavior pack just like this and it says you're leaving mcpldl.com. And then I need to go and click on this link again and it's gonna take us to another link with ties page. Um, and then we'll scroll down and go and tap on free access once again. And as I said before, you may go and get some articles pop up asking you to download it. Just press off that and press on the download button again. And then I'll press on download here for the RP, for the BP, sorry. And now we've got the ghost block RP and the BP, so the resource pack um, and the behavior pack. Now, as you can see, they're fully downloaded. Now, every browser is slightly different with how, how it goes and downloads these files. You know, some browsers are gonna have them in the top right, but you can always go and find your downloads in the downloads folder uh, in your file explorer. So if you can't see these files in your browser, go and open up the file explorer and go to the downloads folder. Now, what you need to do with these files is literally just go and open them and run them. So you may need to double tap them or single tap them. It's going to depend. As you can see, Minecraft Bedrock automatically opens and it's going to launch. Sit back and relax. And in a moment, you're going to go and get a message saying um, it's being imported. I'll just wait for that just a moment. As you can see, it says import started. So just wait, do not close it, wait for it to fully import everything. And then it will say successfully imported the ghost block add-on. Um, and then we need to do this for the other file. So now we need to do it for the behavior pack. I just did the resource pack. So I'm going to open this up now and Minecraft is launching as you can see and we should go and get the same message in just a moment and just like that it says import started and then in a moment it's going to say import has finished as you can see it's successfully imported it so there we go you've now successfully done this now before you go and get into a game there's a few more key settings we need to do so let's go and make this full screen just like this go and tap on play and you can do um, do this with existing worlds but I'll just create a new one for the example so go and tap on create new and then create new world so I'm gonna go and make this a creative world. And now what we need to do is come to the left-hand side and scroll down the side menu until you get to experiments. 
Now, there are a few sort of key things you need to switch on here. Personally, I just go and switch them all on. Some mods are gonna require uh, different sort of, of these add-ons to be turned on, but honestly, I just do them all anyway. So what we need to do is press on turn on experiments anyway. As you can see, you lose things like achievements and things like that. Just go and switch these all on. However, you don't always need to switch these all, all on, but I generally do just because it makes things easier. And then you need to go to behavior packs. Um, and as you can see, there's no active ones. So you need to go and tap on available and boom, there it is, the ghost block add-on. Then I'm gonna go and press activate just like this. And it says you've activated all packs and then just go to resource packs and make sure uh, the ghost block add-on is, act is active as well. As you can see, it's in the active section. Now, all we need to do is go and create this world. So we can go back to general, name this if I'd wanted to, then press create, and it's now loading the game. So I'll catch up with you guys once it's loaded. The game is now loaded, but I quickly want to go back to that website, the mod website, just to find out how the add-on the mod works. So firstly, we need to go and craft a soul table, and then we can use that to go and make ghost blocks. So that's pretty simple. So I've just got everything we're gonna need. So I'll place down this crafting table, um, put the planks in just like so. And then I think we just add the soul sand on top. And there we go, we've now got the soul table. So then I'll put that there just like so, and I'm gonna go and place this down um, just here. And then I think pretty much all you then do is go and put the item in, so the plank, and then it's gonna be like an invisible block. We can then just walk through it. So let's go and test this out. So let's just go and place two, and I should be able to just walk through it just like that. That's really, really cool. 